I'm Steve Halleck of TikToking. This is Grubal Forcey, and you're watching What Makes This Brand Great. Man, am I excited to bring these to you. Grubal Forcey, one of my other tip, 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 top favorites. I've got three great pieces to share with you and help explain what makes this brand great. Okay, before we start, a little bit of housekeeping. As always, you can find me and all my stuff at tiktoking.com. I sell watches. Uh, you can also please subscribe to the channel, like the video, hit the notification bell, comment if you have something to say. All of this stuff really helps uh, Google's algorithms on YouTube show the videos to watch lovers. And this is the whole point is I really want to educate people on, uh, you know, what makes these great brands great because uh, these are still little guys and they don't have a lot of marketing budget and they don't always do the best job of explaining themselves what it is that they're doing. Okay, let's get into Grubal Forcey. So when you think about Grubal Forcey, I want you to think of a melding of a few different things. Okay, so first of all, horology. They are actually interested in improving the rate keeping apparati of watches. So some other brands that I'm into, that's not really their thing. Um, one of the really common threads of all of the brands that I like are that they're they're sort of trying to make art out of watch pieces uh, in some way. Um, and they're using different constraints, almost like to, using different media to do such a thing. So Grubel's first constraint is that they're actually trying to improve what makes a mechanical watch in the first place, okay? So that's one thing. Then together with that, they're using the three-dimensional space. All of their pieces somehow use the vertical axis to accomplish this in some sort of way. Uh, and it's a very integral part, not only of their design, but also of the mechanics that they're working with. And then the third thing is that they use the absolute highest, highest, highest level of finishing. I'm talking nothing compares. And they use that as a tool to actually enhance their designs. So it's not just an added thing to make it look nice. They're specifically using finishing in a way that enhances the three-dimensional mechanical designs that they're doing. Okay, so what does all that mean? I think it's best we just dig into the watches and see how it goes. Okay, <clears throat> let's start over here. This is invention piece one. And here you see all three of those main things at once. So first thing you notice, amazing three-dimensionality, right? Super deep. This giant bridge is suspended way above the main plate of the movement. And you have this double tourbillon hanging there. So it's one tourbillon in the horizontal plane and then one tourbillon at 30 degrees rotating inside of it. So this is their first invention and they're highlighting it specifically telling the world, you know, we're here to actually make mechanical inventions. And in fact, they entered a double tourbillon 30 degree, uh, actually a technique, one of these, but same mechanism, into a chronometry competition and won it. So they're not just for show, they're actually for rate keeping, and they're using the vertical axis to achieve this, right? This 30 degree tilt. Um, so you see all of that here, and then the finishing. So if you look at, for example, maybe like a Philippe Dufour Simplicity or something like that, uh, you know, any of these watches that are considered to be at the tip top of, of finishing, the overall feeling that you get when looking at them is sort of like a creaminess. You know, the bridges are finished in a super like frosty, creamy, amazing, the Geneva stripes, the Anglage, very smooth, nothing sharp in there, smooth. Uh, creamy is the best way I know how to describe it, right? That's not the purpose of Grubel 4C finishing. So Grubel is specifically using contrasting finishing techniques. So whereas in a traditional movement, you may have two or three finishing techniques, you know, Geneva stripes and polished anglage uh, to make the whole movement. Grubel Force is using many of those and specifically incorporating it as a piece of the design. So for example, on this watch, you see the black polish here, the polished rings in here, but they're set with these matte 
time-telling discs, and that's all on this grained main plate. You've got the different colors, uh, matte hands, but then in the center here, you have more black polished discs and screws. So you have all of these things, and they're not just haphazardly arranged. They're specifically done to enhance the contrast in the different pieces. And that's why I kind of liken the first time you see a Grubel 4C, it's like the first time you saw an HD TV. You know, we were all just used to what a television picture looked like. And then you see your first HD TV and it almost looks weird and off-putting because everything's so incredibly defined. That's what happens with a Grubel 4C. And you can be a total novice to watches to see that. You don't have to get out of loop. You don't have to even know what's going on. They just look different in that way. So that's using this finishing to actually achieve an end. You know, it's not just for nothing. Because they're working with this three-dimensional plane, it highlights every bit along the way. So that's the IP1. Now you can really see that here with the technique where they're specifically showing the depth and all of the mechanical, almost like a city under glass in this movement. But you can see here, look at how, look at how tall that pinion holding the hands is. And again, perfectly, perfectly finished the whole way through including the screws on the bottom here. And then look at that juxtaposed with these two barrels that are on top of each other. And they each have multiple different types of finishes. So when you have a perfect finish, that's one thing. But when you have two very different, but both completely perfect finishes next to each other, it creates a sense of depth. It creates movement. It creates play. It is the design of the watch itself. This is extremely important when looking at Grubel 4C to kind of understand what they're up to. And you can see it even in the back where, you know, it's a little bit more traditional back here, but you can still see that the architecture is very much highlighted. You have these wheels on different axes, super long. I mean, can you see? Let me see if I can get a focus there. Look at the teeth there and the finishing of those wheels and the pinion. It's just, there's nothing else like it. And it everything just pops in such a way that nothing else on earth does. And what's really cool, I mean, if you think about it, right? Swiss watches are used by, you know, the non-watch world. A switch, Swiss watch is like a metaphor for the ultimate in craft and precision. So here with Grubel 4C, you're literally looking at the best of the best. It's not an exaggeration to say that these are literally some of the most incredible objects ever created by human beings, you know, uh, at, a, at a level that's just almost impossible to imagine. So let's look even at their sport pieces, which, you know, are meant to be more casual and just sort of to highlight wearing, but they very much still show all of those Grubel 4C attributes, right? So here they've done, even with the case, they've highlighted this three-dimensionality of it by curving the entire thing. And then they keep the curves going with the movement itself. So this is their proprietary balance wheel. It's another uh, sort of invention of theirs. And it is mounted at an angle. So using that vertical plane. And you can see that the wheels leading up to the hands themselves are actually on a curved vertical bridge going up to the hands. So the entire movement is made in three dimensions. And again, you can see the finishing and just the sort of HD effect here with the barrel cover and especially where this, uh, it's not quite black, it's a very, very dark gray plate meets the lighter silver plate. They're both two different kinds of finishes, but they're both so perfect that where they come together, it almost looks like it's just one plate. like. It's insane in person because you've just never seen, you know, the eye isn't used to objects like this. So they almost look like alien trinkets or something like that. It, 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 I hope all of you at some point get a chance to just hold a Grubel 4C 
and hold it next to something else and you'll see this HD effect. And you can see it here, even with what are very traditional bridges kind of on the back of this watch. But again, look at where the plates come together. Look at the polish versus the matte finish and the countersinks and everything is just so perfect that it pops in a way that, you know, most people, most companies, if they made a movement with full bridges like this, it would look like nothing. You'd be kind of looking at nothing. Uh, but here you can see this incredible sort of poppiness and I don't know how to say it other than this high definition thing going on even in this very flat full bridge motif. So let me show you all of them together because you rarely get to see three Grubel Forces in the same place at the same time. Again, all three of these you can see exactly what makes this brand great. That's three-dimensional mechanical inventions finished like nothing else in the world is finished. And let me just tell you a quick, quick anecdote regarding that. Um, I, was, I was having lunch one time with an independent watchmaker that we all know and love. I'll leave him nameless for this. Um, but he has a very cool piece that he made and it retailed for about $140,000. And he was telling me that one of the big challenges in making the watch was to decide what level of finish to put on it. And this was an important piece for him. So he wanted it to be finished extremely well. And he settled on, you know, let's call it 98% good. To, mo to almost everybody, even within, you know, the very hardcore watch industry, this is one of the incredibly well-finished watches that there is. And it looks great and everything's great. And then he was saying, he could have, in theory, gone to that 99th percent, which he specifically called Grubel level, but in that case, he would have had to sell the watch for $600,000. And that just illustrates what you're looking at and, and kind of the, the diminishing returns that you get in these levels of perfection and why it's so cool to have something like a Grubel 4 You know, for the most part, this doesn't need you know, most people don't need this. Obviously, nobody needs needs. But, um, you know, most watches are better off not being finishes, finished to this level. It's I'd rather have that other watch at 140 grand be great and be great for other reasons, right, than have to be 600 just to be a little bit better finished. But Grubel 4 this is their thing. You know, this is what makes this brand great. The whole idea is what if we made these three-dimensional mechanical masterpieces and then went to the maniacal level of perfection to finish them so that each individual part jumps out at you like nothing you've ever seen. So I think that story really illustrates what makes this brand great. This is Grubel Forcey and this is what you need to think about when you're looking at this brand, evaluating their watches. You know, this is what you want. Three-dimensional mechanical inventions and tip, 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 tot nothing compares to it in the entire world finishing. So thank you very much for your time. I hope you enjoyed it. Please share this with your friends that are into watches. Subscribe, hit the notification bell, hit me up in the comments, and check me out at tiktoking.com. Thank you very much. I'll see you soon.